Today, we are going to talk about some English expressions that are quite rude. They're not polite. But it's important for you to know what they mean, because if you spend time with native English speakers, or if you watch movies, if you watch TV, I guarantee you will hear these. And actually, some of them you definitely will hear. But some of them you might not hear because they are British, but I still want to teach them to you. So these are all expressions with the word piss. And piss is a rude word for urine or pee. Let's start there. Piss is a rude word for urine or pee. Urine is the more formal word. P is the informal word, and piss is the very informal, rude word. And piss can be either a noun or a verb, depending how you use it. There is piss on the floor means there is urine or pee on the floor. And in that example, it's a noun. But if we say, my dog always pisses on the carpet, there it's clearly a verb. And I'll say it one more time, the word piss is rude, so be careful who you use it with. Now, let's look at some expressions with the word piss. The first one is very simple, to take a piss. To take a piss is the same as the verb, piss. It just means to pee or urinate. Maybe you are in the car with your best friend and you drank a lot of coffee. So now you need to use the toilet. You could tell your friend, let's stop somewhere, I have to piss. Or you could say, let's stop somewhere, I have to take a piss. They mean the same thing. And we use the word piss this way in both the US and the UK. These next two expressions we also use both in the US and the UK. First is to piss someone off. To piss someone off means to make someone angry. Second, to be pissed off. This means to be angry. He did something that really pissed me off. He did something that made me angry. It pisses me off when people change lanes while driving without using their turn signal. My friend wanted to talk to me because he was really pissed off about something that happened at work. Now let's look at some British expressions with the word piss. And these are expressions that I didn't know 10 years ago, and most Americans don't know. But I still want to teach them to you because they are common in the United Kingdom, South Africa, Australia, etc. First, if someone tells you to piss off, that means go away, stop bothering me, leave me alone. And it's really rude. Then we have to be pissed. And this created some confusion between me and my coworkers when I started working with British people. Because in the US, when we say, I'm pissed, that means I'm pissed off, I'm angry. And again, British people also say, I'm pissed off, and it means I'm angry, but when they don't include the word off, when they just say, I'm pissed, it means I'm really drunk. So, she was pissed last night means she was really drunk last night. And we have to be on the piss, which basically means the same thing. It means to be drunk. If we say, he has been on the piss for three days. That means he has been drunk for three days. Then we have to be a piss head. If someone is a piss head, that is just a rude way to say that they are an alcoholic. They are someone who drinks alcohol all the time. 
Steven is a pisshead. He's always drunk. Finally, we have my favorite, which is to take the piss. And the first time I heard this one, I was really confused because I thought like, take the piss, like collect the urine, collect the pee from somebody. But no, that's not what it means. It's an idiom. And as an idiom, it has two meanings. First, it can mean to try to make someone look silly or stupid. And it can be serious, but usually it's friendly. If someone says, I'm just taking the piss, that means I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. I'm not being serious. Or his friends always take the piss out of him because he's bad at sports. This means that they make jokes and laugh at him, but they probably aren't trying to be mean. They probably aren't trying to hurt his feelings. They're just having fun. The second way that we can use take the piss is when something is annoying or unfair. For example, if you see something that normally costs $10, but someone is selling it for $30, you might say $30, that's taking the piss. So yeah, those are some expressions with the word piss. I'll say it one more time. Piss is a rude word and you should be careful who you use it with, but these are important things for you to know as you are learning English. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.